Hello, and welcome to the fifth annual Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference. I hope you are healthy and well. Thank you for joining us online this year to share your knowledge and experience during what continues to be a pivotal time for both the world and our work in overcoming the diseases and disabilities of aging. We have a truly outstanding program over the next days, complete with talks, interviews, and panels from many of the brightest minds in our field, aiming to create collaboration points between us all to accelerate our collective progress. To that point, I'd like to acknowledge our dedicated staff and board at Lifespan.io and our amazing group of volunteers. Thank you as well to our conference sponsors and media partners for helping make this event possible and who I encourage you to learn more about and interact with by visiting the sponsor section of this platform or clicking on their logos on our website at lifespan.io slash conference. And of course, I'd like to express my gratitude to our hero donors who support us at lifespan.io slash hero, our funders on platforms such as Gitcoin and YouTube, and anyone who supported our work. Thank you. Last year, I relayed the Sumerian story of Gilgamesh and how we share his ancient quest to preserve health and life. But this story actually sits within a much grander one in which we are at a key moment in history, poised to accomplish age-old dreams through science, but also a time of great strife and chaos. One of the primordial forces present in all religions and mythologies, destruction and creation, darkness and light microcosmically represented in all of us through decay and repair. And I believe that our work moving the needle on this balance in us, overcoming a core driver of disease and suffering in the world, shines a light that may brighten humanity's way through all darkness. And that light is growing. Attention, funding, and consequent innovation is continuing to accelerate, with a variety of emerging organizations and prominent individuals throwing their weight into this fight against the ill effects of aging, even if some of them are wording it carefully. And yet perhaps we don't need to be quite as shy as we think. In actuality, directly addressing the root causes of aging towards the increase of health span and lifespan is fast becoming an endeavor as embraced by society as it should be. Just two months ago, for example, the AARP conducted a poll showing that a significant majority of people of all ages would be in favor of taking a pill to extend their life by 10 years, even without health being preserved. And these percentages soar only higher into the 80s for all age cohorts, if the question is reworded to include the preservation of health. Comparing this to polls of the recent past shows just how fast perception is changing and how the desire is growing to at last overcome age-related diseases that have been with us since the dawn of humanity. The manifestations of this desire are now seen clearly in pop culture, with the extended lifespans inherent to the heroes of our modern fairy tales not being viewed as a curse as it once was, but a means to derive joy and gain wisdom from greater connection to each other and the world. I'd like to think that our work at Lifespan.io, or my technology contributions, have played some part in this shift. But whatever the case, it seems that some of the most influential organizations in the world are coming to the conclusion that this is what people want to see. And it's not just movie studios. Something has changed. Every day I see a new content creator or influencer speaking cogently about your work, even ones you might not expect. Or scientists engaged in aging research appearing on popular podcasts and being met with appreciation. Or best-selling book authors including chapters about combating aging in their latest work. And perhaps because of this, even amidst the current economic challenges in the world, investment and philanthropy into aging research continues. And excitement and energy steadily builds, leading to continual advances in areas such as senescent cell clearance and partial cellular reprogramming. While there is certainly still an incredible amount of work to be done, the initial mission we began with at Lifespan.io, to inform and engage the public so that addressing aging directly becomes a societally acceptable pursuit, is being fulfilled. I'm excited that we're now at the phase where we move towards making overcoming age-related diseases not only acceptable, but openly desired and prioritized. This means not only working with key industry leaders and influencers, but becoming ones ourselves. As such, I'm excited to announce that shortly after our conference last year, Life Noggin, one of the top tier science educational YouTube channels we've worked with in the past, and which has over 3.2 million subscribers, has officially become part of our team at Lifespan.io. 
And since then, we've been hard at work producing new videos specifically about life extension, adding to a dedicated series on the subject which has received over 11 million views and counting. To expand upon this, we're now drafting a new series where with each episode we collaborate with a different celebrity content creator in our network about how aging research intersects with other important causes they care about, thereby potentially bringing in hundreds of millions of people from their communities into ours. This new flagship is also strengthening our existing outreach and educational initiatives such as Science to Save the World, Lifespan News, and of course our thriving Lifespan.io news outlet forming a complete educational funnel that both informs the public and creates new longevity advocates, investors, and researchers. Additionally, this pipeline can flow in the other direction as well, allowing us to surface exciting breakthroughs in our field to meet and inspire people where they are at the level of popular culture. As an example, we recently made a successful video about a powerful moment in the last season of Stranger Things that everyone was talking about, no spoilers, and how it is analogous to age-related diseases like Alzheimer's and the surprising interventions that might perhaps fight them. In fact, this has relevance to another emerging focus area of our work at Lifespan.io. In-house research, such as the Mindset Project, in which myself, Oliver, and other team members have invented patent-pending technology to employ a unique combination of biology, neurofeedback, and machine learning to structure the first truly decentralized clinical trial to test and optimize non-pharmacological interventions for dementia. We have embarked upon this not only because defeating dementia is of immense personal importance to us, but because any victory here will have an outsized effect in reducing human suffering, in waking up the public from learned helplessness regarding age-related decline, and in catalyzing a much-needed transformation in how clinical trials are conducted in the modern age. You can imagine if, after billions of dollars and decades of stalled progress against Alzheimer's, if a decentralized group on the internet using non-drug interventions have any success at all in remediating dementia, it would be an earthquake. This ties perfectly into a third emerging focus area of our work, decentralized science, or DSI. By working directly with pioneers at the intersection of blockchain technology and biotechnology, we are both supporting and creating a variety of projects to raise funds and awareness for life extension research and accelerate the pace of that research by building systems which facilitate and incentivize cross-project collaboration. Not only does this include new models for crowdsourced clinical trials described earlier, but also NFT projects which can incorporate biometric data into them to promote healthy lifestyles and inspire the public with powerful storytelling, as well as smart contract facilitated crowdfunding models which can fund massive scale projects and bring in a much greater number of excited supporters into our field while doing so than traditional crowdfunding is capable of. I'm truly grateful that I've had the chance to work with many of you directly on these endeavors, and you'll all be hearing more about a few of them in the interviews, talks, and panels to come. And I'm also grateful for our growing team at Lifespan.io, including our new executive director, Stephanie Daynow, who has been an excellent member of our board for over a year and may have already spoke to you about ways in which you can work with us to accelerate the projects I mentioned and who I'm extremely confident can help lead us into a bright future, one we can all build ourselves together. And when every second someone dies of aging, build it we must. Because... Despite the growing desire for therapies to extend healthy human lifespan, our existing systems are failing to deliver it, which is leading to growing financial burdens for everyday people and consequent dissatisfaction with the current state of healthcare in America and other countries. That's why it's important that our allied 501c4 organization, the Alliance for Longevity Initiatives, has hit the ground running since its announcement last year bringing together policymakers from all parties to discuss how to overcome age-related disease, advocating for expanded funding for aging research and in a manner which works to resolve societally damaging health care disparities, and laying the groundwork to build a coalition in Congress to support our field. But of course, to truly overcome age-related diseases, our work must transcend nationality. And thus, it makes me optimistic to see an increasing number of countries getting involved and to see recent announcements like that of South Korea considering setting up its own NIA-like organization, citing as inspiration the MG2A and XT9T codes added to the 11th revision of the International Classification of Diseases, something which many of us 
had advocated for and was itself the result of a global effort. It is through collective action like this that we win. That's why I'm glad to see the birth of cross-organization initiatives such as the Longevity Prize, in which Lifespan.io is working together with VitaDAO, the Foresight Institute, and the Methuselah Foundation, along with numerous members of our field, to launch a series of prizes to accelerate progress in longevity, each designed to generate an avalanche of crowdsourced proposals, experiments, and collaborations on undervalued areas. And the recent Longevity Summer Camp by Less Death, a unique four-day event in Nevada City bringing together a diverse group of scientists and engineers to support the growth and effectiveness of the longevity industry's workforce, inspiring the next generation to fight age-related diseases through workshops, career strategy sessions, and fun activities, and where Stephanie was a camp counselor. In the same spirit of bringing everyone together, I'm excited that since January last year, our Longevity Investor Network has held 18 meetings that put a variety of incredible companies under the spotlight, where over 40 CEOs chose to share their hard work, leading to over $2 million deployed to entities such as Immunis, Remedium Bio, Nanotics, the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and others. And one such entity, Novos, a public benefit company we've supported since its inception and have an interest in, has gone on to great success with its combination of research-backed nutraceuticals addressing all hallmarks of aging simultaneously. Just recently announcing the results of two in vitro studies conducted by i Life Sciences and the Aging Research Laboratories at Newcastle University, which demonstrated a significant reduction in DNA damage in irradiated human cells versus control cells, and a senescence mitigating effect in human cells, respectively. I am optimistic that initiatives like this will be able to successfully engage the broader public in the work of our field by positively affecting them personally and I'm thankful to be a part of it. And on that subject, I finally want to express my gratitude to all who are working with us, the researchers, journalists, advocates, and anyone who's helped any area of our work. Those who've watched our YouTube shows or contributed to our crowdfunding campaigns or joining from new communities like everyone at Gitcoin supporting our work. And everyone here today, even just attending, spending your time with us on this most important endeavor. The world is going through a challenging time, diseases, mental health problems, strife, and war. And yet by being here, watching this, you have chosen to engage in the one battle behind all others that started with the birth of time and in which we are all united on the same side. Decay and repair, darkness and life. If you're here today, you are a hero, at the very least to me a shining through the darkness. And if we continue to work together, I believe we will all share bright days ahead. And in that spirit, I welcome you to Ending Age-Related Diseases 2022. Thank you.